The National Institute of Town Planners has tasked citizens to challenge politicians campaigning for their votes to review their plans and programs for physical planning, development, and the environment. The organization says it is worried about the deplorable state of physical planning and a wholesome human settlement in Nigeria and its impact on national security and development. TVC News correspondent TJ Swadiyo reports. There is growing advocacy on the need for increased awareness about the importance of town planning and effective management of human settlements in Nigeria to ensure stress-free living. The National Institute of Town Planners is driving this due to its belief that until proper attention is given to fiscal planning and development, Nigeria may be unable to solve its various challenges. This include national security and the imbalance in the provision and distribution of fiscal, social and security infrastructure. The federal government enacted the Nigerian Urban and Regional Planning Law in 1992. Unfortunately, these laws have not been effectively activated to impact on the quality of our environment. From the federal government to the state governments, it is a galore of disobeying the law by refusing to prepare plans and structures for their implementation. As Nigeria prepares to mark its 62nd anniversary, this group of town planners reflect on the state of cities and communities in the country and seek to chart a new course towards improving the livelihood of citizens. Several panels, committees and tribunals have been set up and recommendations made. It's just one thing left commitment to doing what is right on the part of government and the people. We urge the government and people of Nigeria to have value for human life and stop the carnage. They say in order to achieve this, citizens must begin to hold their leaders accountable and urge them to invest in planning human settlements which will eradicate the proliferation of slums and significantly reduce urban poverty and crime. TJ Suadio, TVC News, Abuja.